So here's a trick. On my wiggly tool, when the blade wears out, I take self-adhesive sandpaper, and all you have to do is set that on there, and it becomes the best little sander I ever had. I tried to be gentle on the elevator, oh, but no. as soon as I gave it a little up, it snapped. Well, this jet has a glide ratio of a brick, 
In fact, most jets do. You know, too much elevator caused snapping. I elected to bring it down in the dirt, and that was a mistake because it broke a lot more than the first crash. Ripped the landing gear out, nose gear out, ripped the wing apart, everything. Plus, cleaning the mud out everywhere just took hours. But those who know me know I don't give up too easy. I put it back together again, which was way more intense than I thought it was going to be. What I determined was that it was using about 3 ounces of fuel a minute, and when it got low it began sucking air, making it misfire, which you can hear. I've added a sub-tank to add as a feeder, so no air should be present this time. Well, I'm no body man, and it's a good thing because in airplane judging there is scale, meaning you judge up close. Then there is standoff scale, meaning you have to judge from 5 feet away. This is way standoff scale, so you can't see all the repairs. So when the weather clears and I get my nerve back, I'm going to try again. So please stay tuned for the third flight, which I hope will be a charm. And thanks again for watching.